Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on websites like eBay and Poshmark. You can find me on Instagram as Alducha Thrift. And if you're not subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be, hit the button down below. And if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up on your way out today. All right, today I'm here with a Thread Up Rescue Box unboxing. So I've actually had this box sitting in my office for a while and I'm gonna pull up the information on it. So it is one of the DIY fabric boxes. And I'll be honest, I think I purchased this back in like October, November, and I just kept forgetting to do an unboxing. So we're going to do that here today. I did already open it up because I wanted to look at it. And <laughs> there's no invoice in there. So I don't know what I paid at the time a few months ago for this. However, currently on the website, they now call it a DIY is it yeah fabric and textiles the box costs $24 and it includes 10 pounds of items and they've really changed the verbiage on this to include that it could be upholstery quilting or more so it might not just be clothing and I did experience that one time in one of my previous unboxings I got curtains or something it, I don't know what it was so anyways I have the box here oh let me show you yeah, there's a lot of stuff, so let's get into it. First item right off the bat is this. It's been a while, so I don't totally remember everything that's in here, but I did look at this one. So it is a free people blouse or little tunic-y swing dress. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be a slip underneath here, and I do just wanna add in really quickly that these items could be flawed. There's gonna be issues with them. That's to be expected. So whether I find them on camera with you today may or may not happen. So there was likely a slip in here because it does have the little snap buttons which would have held in probably like just a little camisole. But that's something that somebody could just add in and wear, right? Most people have a black camisole at home um, or you could purchase a little slip dress to go underneath this. This is a size large and it's really cute. I'm just trying to see if there was a flaw here. I just grabbed at it a second ago and my finger caught on something. Here it is. Okay, so there is a string here. I don't necessarily see a loose seam anywhere, so I may just snip that string, but otherwise I don't really see anything wrong with it. But once, another loose string here, but once I get it under, my big lights that's where all the flaws will really be discovered <laughs> okay next item is some sort of dress this is the brand baltic born i'm not familiar with this brand if you know where it's from let me know so it's got what would this be called smocking here on the top it looks like it's off the shoulder or you could probably wear it up like that with this little cap flutter sleeve and it's got buttons that go down the front, whether those are faux buttons. Yeah, it doesn't actually open. And then it's really, really long. This is actually really cute. I think it's a really cute summer dress in terms of the brand though. I've never heard of it. And I guess we could Google it because I do have my computer up in front of me. But let's see what they say about Baltic born dresses. Okay, just right off the bat, if I just type it into Google and I hit the shopping button, Oh, people are selling them on their website. So for about 80, 50 to 80 dollars, maybe 90, maybe a little bit higher. So I don't know what the resale is on this. We'll find out. But the retail looks like it's pretty high. All right, next is another dress. I'm like, what are these all dresses? Crazy. Okay, um, this is the brand Sangria. I have gotten this in I think a rescue box before I don't know where this brand is sold I love the drink personally <laughs> but this is a size 16 dress and it's cute I'm like what's wrong with it where's your flaw it's got to be on the beading that's what I would think it would be I don't see any but there's like a little loose string there I don't see any fabric pulls. There's a little bit of surface discoloration there, but if I take like a moist wipe to it, baby wipe, whatever, I think it'll come off. Okay, on the waist part here, there is some pilling. 
I could try and depill this, but I just because of the way they have the fabric layered here, I'd be a little bit concerned that I'm going to mess up or snag something really quick or easily. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to proceed with caution there. In terms of resale on this, right off the bat, I don't know that it'll be super high, but I could be wrong. Sorry, I'm gonna put my hair back. Okay. Yeah, so so far a free people item is probably the most exciting. All right, next is I think a skirt and it is a Derek Hart skirt. It's a size large and this is, looks like an older piece of Derek Hart because I've seen newer tags of theirs and they don't look this old. <laughs> um, you know, it's just a plain black skirt that arguably needs a little bit of a steam. It's cute. Skirts don't typically sell like hotcakes for me. So I'm just not the most excited by this piece, but it, it's a cute piece and it's a size large. So yeah, uh, next is I think another dress, which there's no brand. There's no brand on this. So this could maybe just be like a dress from Amazon, just like a boutique cheapy style dress. I mean, it's a cute print and I like this mint color but I don't think that this will probably really resell for more than 10 to $20 if it resells at all. All right, next, actually, let me show you this piece. So this one's actually pretty cool. This one I did have to Google. So here it is. This is the bottom. It's a skirt and the brand is Panache. And then it says India.com. So I don't know if it's panacheindia.com, but I think it is because I think I Googled it. And I'm pretty sure this is called, I'm gonna maybe not pronounce it correctly, a lehenga, which is like a long Indian skirt that reaches down to your ankles. And I think they're really pretty. When I saw them modeled on the website, when I initially looked this up a month or two ago, I think this piece goes with it. And I actually think this is like the top. I think it like wraps around. So that'll be kind of fun to do on my uh, little half form mannequin that I have. But in terms of resale, I can't remember what the resale looked like, but the retail on these skirts is pretty high. I saw them anywhere from like 80 to $200. And I'm not exactly sure about this brand specifically, but I think the most fun thing about this piece was kind of learning something new and looking up something new because oftentimes I do see you know, different um, types of clothing when I'm out thrifting. And we don't always look stuff up because maybe it's not in our comfort level or we're just not familiar with it, whatever it is. So this one was actually really fun, fun to look up. And yeah, maybe I learned some more about it. So that one, I think, I'm hoping the resale on that one's gonna be pretty good. It'd be nice to get like 40 bucks, especially if I can figure out the top and bottom combination. So yeah. This is a Lucky Brand dress and it's white, which concerns me that there's going to be staining or discoloration that I can't see under my crappy overhead fluorescent lights, but will reveal itself under my LED photo lights. It looks to be in good condition from this angle, but, but the lights will reveal everything. In good condition, I could maybe get like 20 to 30 bucks for that. Maybe, that's my thought. <laughs> okay, uh, this is I think also a dress. And oh, I, I always forget what this brand is. I don't think it's Urban Outfitters or Anthropology, but somebody can let me know. Oh, what is it? I'm in like birdcage, like what is it? <laughs> I never remember the name because some of them are just little logos. It does have the little tag on the inside here. And I, yeah, it might not even be Anthro or Urban Outfitters. It doesn't have the RN number of 66170, which doesn't always have to mean that it is an urban brand, but usually is a pretty good indicator. Okay. Yeah, in terms of resale on that piece, maybe 10 to 20. I'm thinking this next item is something, some sort of wrap. Oh gosh, I don't even know what this is. 
I think the tag has been ripped out because I think it went right there. But let's look at the interior tag here. This does kind of look familiar. What is this? Let's look it up really quick because I do have my computer here and we are together. So I'm going to the website rn.ftc.gov and this is where you can look up the RN numbers on the style tag. So the RN number on this one is 80734. Okay, so this says AZ3 ink. So that didn't do me the biggest help because when I search AZ3 ink, yeah, it just doesn't really bring up a lot. Why does that tag just look familiar? Is it just me? Maybe it's just me. <laughs> but I'll try looking at the style number. I was going to say later, but again, here we are together. Let's just do it. S Z O 6 F 796. That's why it looked familiar. It's BCBG Max Azria. So I searched it. Somebody has a listing on Tradesy for this and they've got a listed for like 50 bucks. I don't think it's sold yet. So has it sold? Maybe it's sold. I can't tell with Tradesy. They're, are they even a website anymore? Anyway, it's a really cute wrap dress on this model, not in my version. It's just, it's all this. In terms of resale, they had it priced at 50. I would probably try and sell it between, again, 20 or 30, assuming everything else looks good about mine, but I'm gonna have to list that there's no brand tag and the size tag we'll just have to make a guesstimation for. Bummer. Oh my gosh, everything's falling. <laughs> Okay, next item is a dress and we'll have a tag. <laughs> it has a size tag, so it says extra large. So again, another just boutique style maxi dress. It's cute, it's actually really cute, but for resale it is harder because it just doesn't have a brand name. Um, you know, I can put tropical or vacation or all those different things, spring break, all those different keywords. But again, I don't think I'd probably get more than maybe 10 to $25 for this. And if it was my size, I would wear it, but I don't know if that'll fit me because sometimes a boutique size XL is not going to actually be an XL. Okay. The last, no, there's two more items. <laughs> so this is Ann Taylor Petite little skater dress. I think that's what it is. A little wrap skater dress. So this is cute. Um, there's a ton of pilling here on the front. So I'm going to need to depill this. I'm not the most excited that it's a petite. Petite style sizing has been traditionally harder for me to sell. So <clears throat> again, in terms of resale, I wouldn't think probably more than 15 to $25 for this piece. Yeah. And last but not least, whatever this little lacy thing is, <clears throat> this is okay oh is this I was gonna say forever 21 but I don't even know if that is forever 21 it's like xx1 it's a size medium lacy uh <clears throat> excuse me t-shirt top something to pull over a little camisole but it's got something nasty on the back of there I don't know if I'll even bother with this <clears throat> excuse me I've got something in my throat I'm not sure that I'll even bother with this because it's got this little funk on the back here. And for me, this isn't worth it to like clean and then photograph and do all that stuff with. So I do think there are some items in here that I will just consider donating or to be honest, just I'll send right back to ThreadUp and they can try selling it because <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. Um, especially like the lower end pieces that I probably said between, between 10 and $20 for. It's just pro maybe probably not worth my time. So this box, <clears throat> I think the most exciting things in here were probably the free people piece. And then the, I think it was indiapanache.com skirt. Maybe the lucky brand dress, assuming that there's no stains or flaws on it. And maybe the BCBG wrap, but BCBG Max Azria is also harder for me to move. So yeah, not the most exciting box. Do I think I'll make my money back? Yes. Do I think I'm going to profit? Barely. <laughs> so these DIY fabric boxes, they really are just hit or miss. This time it was a miss. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, um, whether you've purchased one recently, if you think they're a good deal. 
whatever the case. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.